So let me talk to you guys. It's just upsetting where family doesn't get along. They just argue, fight, and celebrate how it is at two different houses. It's just annoying. And here it is. Um, my Aunt Blossom was talking to me, and she said to me, I haven't seen you in 25 years, you and your mom. And Auntie Blossom, my mom explained to my Auntie Blossom that the reason why we couldn't come to see you because of family drama that needs to be resolved. Auntie Blossom, she um she was a very good um she's a very good what she does and she you know very good at certain things. But at the end of the day, I feel like you know I feel like you know things ain't going the right way and Auntie Blossom was talking to me with my mom and said. You know, this is ridiculous. Mummy would not want you guys to argue and fight like this. And the issue was, when my grandmother passed away, my family started acting up. It's like really, really the, 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 the frustration and everything is that we supposed to be in one house, not two different houses, you know? It just pissed me off when my mom said, my aunt, we'll rather go to Germany house than cousin Andre house. And it was really disappointing because we supposed to be a family and not separate ourselves from family. Because family always stick together. Whatever the situation is, we always stick together and help each other out financially, you know? And it's, 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 really, it's really upsetting why we don't, we, we don't hang out as a family anymore. It's always a drama, always he say, she say crap. Oh, she said this and he said that and she said that and he said this. It's, it's always that. But it's not about the patterns and the principles that brings family together. It's not like say, okay, I feel like, okay, certain things that I say, I suppose I'm not supposed to say, but certain things that you say, you're not supposed to say either because you understand that your battle rhythm is what brings you to family. Your relationship with family brings you to your battle rhythm, you know? And sometimes your battle rhythm is reversible because you don't want to be the person that starts up with, certain types of actions that you're not believing yourself for and what type of things that you are set to do. And it's like, what, you, what, what are you doing in your life? What are you doing trying to protect yourself from living a good life? What are you doing trying to help yourself build up your patterns and principles? Your pattern and your principles is two total different things because you allow yourself to oversee certain things that you should never see. But it's like you're, you're, you're not building up the purpose of why you're doing certain things that you're not supposed to do. But you choose to go to somebody else's house and better spend it with your own family members that you blood, you, you, that gave birth to you and all those type of things, your blood family. And you're rather go spend it with your, you know what I'm saying? But I feel that it hurts because I never got the Christmas and the Thanksgiving that I deserve as a family. I never got that. When I was a kid, never had the best Christmas, never had the best Thanksgiving. It was just that I would never beg my family for money. I would not beg them for nothing because that's not me. The, the Bible said, give and it shall be received. It. You give and it shall be given to you 70 times 70. But if you don't give or receive, then you have an issue, you know? And I feel that I never got enough presents it was it was just nothing because it's all about other people but it's not about that person you know it's all about their self it's not about me or that person anymore and if it, it make you feel like and make you feel that you left out you know make you feel that you left out and everything and make you feel certain things in life that you cannot agree with and it's like you're trying to express that to your family members and they said i don't understand and that's the word that they always say I do not understand because they don't get the feeling that you felt because they never experienced it when they were a kid. And I did, you know, they never experienced the same thing I did when I was a kid. Never used to beg my family for nothing. Never used to beg them for money. But what I wanted was for them to buy me stuff and for me to get, buy me stuff for me to get where I'm at. And they buy other people stuff and they left me, they left me hanging, hanging. That's not, that's not love. That's hate. That's not love. That's hate. You know the reason why I do camera work is because I make money. That's love. 
because I love people. I don't disrespect people. I have nothing against people. I show people love because I give and it shall be given. Sometimes when you give, it's about the understanding of receiving it and understanding of showing it and understanding of the principles of it. And if you don't understand the principles of it, then you have an issue with yourself that you cannot fix. You can't build, let me tell you, you can't build the world up by yourself if you don't get help. If you can't build a world by yourself, you won't get the certain standard that you're supposed to be able to build. Your, 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 head, is, your, your, your head is certain things in life that you cannot fix. Because you're going to certain places and you're trying to be successful in life. You're trying to build a barrier room in life. And your barrier room breaks because you're not doing the right thing. You're not doing the part for you to fix it. You're not doing the part for you to set an example. And your example that you set in, you set in because your kids will look up to you and say, oh, you taught me the wrong things about Christmas and Thanksgiving. And you're teach me the right things about giving and receiving. But I'm not, I'm not giving and receiving for nobody. I'm doing this because I love you and I care about you. But you're doing it for hate. And that's what it is. It's all about hate. But as I told um, I went to cut it on this house and I saw I said to him, Christmas is about giving and receiving, cuz you taught me that. You taught me how to give and receive. If I if I don't if, if I get something in life, it's about giving it in return. But sometimes you just sit there and don't you buy everybody's stuff and leave me hanging because you don't care. That means I told my cousin Andre, I said that means you don't care. That means you don't, you never you never care. You you just you just sit there and don't even give a shit. Because it's it's all about you. It's not about you. It's all about your damn self. It's not it's not all about it's not uh you know it's all about yourself. But I, I feel that you know, I feel that the things about think thinking is how you think about your life in different perspective, and how you could fix certain things. But it's all about your damn self. It never about the person's feelings. It's all about your feelings. My mother said the same thing. It's never about your feelings. It's all about your feelings. Now, what about my feelings? What about what I what I, what what about what I achieve? What about what I what I receive? What about investing in certain things? What about that? But you sit there and act like a dumb dumb because you not you not being you're not being a team player. You're not being a team builder. You're being more like a team dumb dumb. That's what it is. You know, and I feel like you know, you, it's not it's not like say you don't understand, you don't understand the purpose of giving, you understand the purpose of receiving. You're more, you're more like you're more like being a dumb dumb and not help out. You know, but the thing about being an inspirational person is about being understanding and knowledge and power. I think that the power of change is a power of thinking, and a power of thinking is like. When you do a power of thinking, you got to understand the change that you have to get from it. But if you don't change you, you're not going to make it better. If you don't change yourself, you're not going to make it better. Because you have to agree with certain things that you don't even agree to. Because it's all about yourself. It's not about other people. It's about yourself. And that's what you need to understand. I told Cousin Andre the same shit. I told him the same shit. You don't understand because you don't get the point that you feel... In a way that you could build up a, a pattern, and the principles you build, it's not gonna, it's not gonna make it better, you know. So let me continue walking. I think I'm, I'm in, I'm in Midwood right now. So I'm continuing walking. All right, we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut down L. All right, I'm gonna cut down Avenue L. Okay, I got. I, next up, J, K, L. Okay, got three more blocks to go. All right, good. We're on the right schedule, yeah. So, you gotta understand the paths and principles of life because life could change a, 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 a story. If you know a story can't change you, your life can change a story. And, you know, and when you don't understand the story, then you have a problem. So right now I'm heading to, I'm gonna show you guys my old high school. Four years I spent there. I'm actually three blocks away from the school. It took me about 10 minutes from my house to get over here. So I'm gonna continue walking and then I'm gonna walk back. So I'm 
but I use the um, boost card on my my cash app and put take the 44 select down. So that's what I'll do when I get off work. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe to my YouTube channel and let me finish up my work. All right. All right. Later. <laughs> happy because i'm at work i'm happy because this is what i like to do i'm happy so i i rather go to work happy than go to work depressed right all that shit going on in your house you you need to come on you come here you come here to happy tone you feel me people love you respect you out here because this is what you do for a living camera work saying love you guys subscribe youtube